Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 86, hitting the end of October. One more week after this, and next week will be a doozy because, as we see on the agenda, we're going to talk about Wix 3.10.1 status. Before that, we'll do triage to go through bugs to make sure that nothing has disrupted what we think is a good Wix 3.10.1 status. Um, and then, as always, we'll do questions, comments, reactions, things that people want to talk about. In the meantime, always remember these meetings are recorded for those people that are unable to be with us here, right here, right now. By the way, this is a Friday where we remove the meetings. I hope that didn't surprise anybody. We have the usual suspects, so I think most people um, caught along. So without further ado, on to triage. Bob, you ready? I am ready. All right, here we go. To the bugs. Yes, we have eight, I think. That's what I see. All right, cool. The run once thing, still here, looked, asked for more information. This was last week. Uh, how about one more week, end of the month, we, nothing comes back, we send this bug away that we still don't think we have a fix for on Windows, you know, with these drivers being inside. Right, yep. All right. I think that's good. Wix standard BA hyperlink patient headers overlap. Ah, false alarm. Yay, who called this? Was this Sean or Jacob that called yeah, it? Yeah, this, this is Sean wins. Yep, all right. Good call, Sean. Um, yay, that bug is not a bug. Great. Remote payload support for MSI and CAB files. Sure, it's a whole lot of work. A whole lot of stuff has to be written, but... Um, I don't mind if we had a way of doing remote payloads. We, we didn't do it because we couldn't. We did it because it was a lot of work and nobody needed it at the time. So, yeah, we take that in 4.6. It's a reasonable feature. So, 4.6, uh, I don't know. Whenever. I mean, it could be done whenever. You don't want it in 4.0, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3? I don't. It could be done. Someone's going to have to do work. But it could go in, oh. Is that what I said? I thought I said 4S. Yes. Did I say 46 or 4X? I heard 46. All right. Then I just slurred my words. Okay. We'll go 4X. <laughs> All right. I'm just making stuff up. I don't know. Yeah, it, it's it's Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, the problem with MSI is we collect so much data mm -hmm. that it's it's it won't be fun to write. <laughs> It won't. I mean, you just you have to specify a whole bunch of, and then of you can't change manual. the MSIs after. I mean, it's basically if you're shipping somebody else's MSI, it's the only way that makes sense, and it's not a high use case, but it could happen. All right, Bootstrap or Sally hangs if tempters read only. Hmm, that's kind of cool. For certain definitions of cool. Well, I mean, you know, kind of cool that someone can make their temp drive read only and expect the world to be a happy place, but well. Um, the, the more common case is probably, you know, lack of disk space. Mm, I think we'll fail with a different error, wouldn't we? Well, I don't know, maybe not. Well, I, I think the point is we'd still fail. Yeah, probably. It comes with a pull request. Yep. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we take this. Um, I agree. You want it in three? Um... I would have to reserve judgment. Yeah, uh, the pull request the, against three. The pull yeah, request, yeah. It's a bug uh, fix. But it, it's a bug. I agree it's a bug, and that's, you know, cool. uh, open for, for 3x. All right. Add a Wix tools version property. This is a very laconic bug. Error can What? You want to... What? You want to have an error condition in... Oh, maybe it's an MS build. Sorry, that's MS build. This is, you, like I said, this is very laconic. There's there's no pros here. Um, yeah, the idea that you can specify, you, know, you can throw an error into your works projects. Sure, we could toss uh, it in four. Yeah, and dupe it if we've seen it before. We could do it in four. I don't know if we'd bother in three. I don't really want to touch the... It's a, yeah, it's a feature. Target. Yeah, we can toss it in four. Four X, if someone wants to do it, that'd be fine. Alt key Wix standard BA messes up foreground background of controls. Uh, some sort of drawing problems, huh? WM draw, yeah. Owner draw, hmm. 
If Alt is pressed, wow, the image is drawn. Hmm. Interesting. Um, yeah, cool. As described here. Okay. Cool. And there's a pull request to discuss it. So, I don't know. You want this in three? Uh, I would have to look. I, I'm not familiar with the issue, and I don't really understand. So if you have it's, a, it's a very visual thing. Control. Yeah. Well, there's a mailing thread, so. Um, yeah. If not, it seems like a good thing to fix in four if images are getting goofed up. I'll, um, yeah, I'll I'll uh, I'll review the the thread. I would, you know, uh, if if it's a real bug and the fix is, you know, in the right range of trivial, okay. uh, I would take this in three. All right. Otherwise, X. otherwise four is totally reasonable. Yeah. Wix SQL extension DE localized strings are in Wix UI extension not accessible as far as I could tell. Yeah, this is a weird one. Um, and I, I didn't get to the point of tracking down when it happened. Uh, in the UI extension Wixlib, mm -hmm. there is this random Wixl file that contains look strings for the other extensions. I think all of them. That's weird. Or at least some of them. But it is just kind of thrown in there. Um, there uh, it's one file, and it's never built. <laughs> okay. So... so yeah, it's like we got a file localized, but didn't split it to toss it in with all the extensions or something. It was more like, oh, here's a file, and it, in it went. Um, but yeah, it it would have to be split up to go into the multiple extensions, and uh, that was that work was not done. Cool. Uh, the the file is available, so if you wanted to, you know, grab it from source, you could take advantage of those strings. The problem, of course, is that none of the other extensions have any other localizations. Oh, it's only DE. It's all, this is a <laughs> one file for for German. German. Um, but we should be able to put it in the other. I mean, we could spread this yeah, around, and should you use it, do it. It just means that hey, some of the extensions will have languages for German, not any other language, but right. Yeah, it sounds like someone contributed strings and put them all in one place. Yeah. Well, actually, we do have some local. The other extensions are the are the weird ones out, right? Um, they just have uh, user contributions. There was no right. uh, consolidated effort. Uh, so, like, Com Plus extension has English, Spanish, and Japanese. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's what happens. So, so it would be easy if, if you know, to, to split up the the one for German into the different extensions. Cool. So, yeah, this could be done in I don't know three. Probably it's additive. Um, could also be yeah. done in four if you don't want to bother. Phil has other data, other extensions, other extensions, something. Oh, he might have something, know something about this since he opened the bug. Yeah, I don't. There are. I have to look. Like I said, I just, you know, cherry pick. There's like Complex Extension has some, uh, has two non English languages, which in a very American sense are the only ones that count. Like SQL extension has a few. Mm -hmm. But Yeah, so SQL extension is the one that's goofed up. All right, so Wix SQL extension needs to be fixed, it seems. Maybe some of the other extensions are working. All right, cool. So maybe it's a smaller bug than, than others. That's fine. So, And maybe we're putting too many strings in all of them, which I don't know that that has any impact on the final MSI. It means your, your Wix lib's a little bigger, but, you know, whatever. Because um, you have a bunch of strings that aren't, used so you know that are never referenced by a number so they never get pulled in. Yeah, okay. Yeah, all right. Sure. Could get fixed. 
So, yeah, so the sounds like the fix is simple. Hey, Phil, maybe you want to do the fix. Just put it in SQL and get the lib building and all that. Sounds like a decent thing we could take in 3x. I agree. No description for error fail action on Windows XP. Hmm. Not sure I care a whole lot, but... Um, so this is going to... I looked at the pull request real quick. This is going to the... our error from message... error from... error message from error code and add one for error fail no action on re reboot. Um, With a literal. Well, I, I don't know how much more I'd want to do for Windows XP. Um, I'm curious why 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 does XP not have that error code? Probably not. Sorry. Must not. But it supports that actual error code. Yeah, I don't know where we return that error code. Burn embedding? Yeah, I mean, I don't know from what code returns it. It's kind of, I remember it being kind of a funky error code. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, I don't remember where that one came from. Um. So the question is, do we burn a string literal in the error handling for Windows XP, or do we just say, yeah, some error codes don't format correctly? Actually, there's going to be a number of error codes that don't format correctly if they're not in the system DLLs that we hit with that call. This is not the only one. It's just this is the one on XP that pops up. And we probably use it somewhere in our code base. So Yeah, it, it gets triggered if a bundle already needs a reboot and right. start. Right. Um, I I suspect I suspect that you know because we've generally been careful about continuing to support XP that we have we would we would have strings for everything. So again, I'm kind of curious why XP doesn't seem to know about this code because it is. I mean, it's a standard Windows code. It's not one of our special ones, ones that we make up. That's true. So it's one of those, uh, how would we know? We'd have to go through all the you know, error codes and see what XP has to say about all of them. Uh, yeah, I guess. Sorry, I'm just wigged out by that whole concept that XP wouldn't have the string. Um, well, it came later. I mean, it's an error code that came along later. Maybe. Mm, I don't think so. Yeah. I mean, it's supposed to be supported. By, sorry, the the it's supposed to be supported by XP. So I'm. I mean, is it just you know Windows people made a mistake? Surely that doesn't happen. <laughs> Could do. Um. Oh, actually, you know, you might be right. The only place this is documented on MSDN is in Restart Manager. Uh huh. Oh my. So yeah, came later. Interesting. Yeah, it's documented, but oh well. Okay. Um, I don't know. I feel kind of dirty taking an English string into. I think it's supposed to give you the look like the string. Well, especially that. <laughs> But I just feel, you know, it just seems bad to be inserting English string, especially in Sturgill. I don't know. Yeah. I was, how about we punt this bug and just say, yeah, no, you can handle it. You can get this for other strings, too, not just this one. I mean, if you send down other strings that are not in the system DLLs, sorry, if you send down error numbers that are not in the system DLLs that are searched by default, you'll get them back as numbers, too. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, this just isn't supported on XP, and I don't want to. We don't want to add it to support for DU. Now, 
could be that we want to show something with standard BA instead, maybe. But yes, yeah. but yeah. for XP even, I'm just like, yeah. Well, if anything, this is a bug that Burn took that particular error code. Could be, yeah. But except no, the no, error no, message is perfect. No action was taken it, if a system <laughs> reboot is required. Right. No, it is. It is the perfect error message. Um, but obviously, it's not a, a Windows XP error message. So, um, yeah, I would vote that this might be a which standard BA thing, if anything. Because then at least we can add add support for localizability. All right, make so it a this, string. What do we do with this bug? Um, I say we say just that. We can leave it open in 3x if someone okay. wants to tackle it as a Wix standard BA issue. All right, I'm fine with that. A very hard time getting excited about these smaller things in XP. It's just like, yeah, look, XP doesn't work as well. Yeah, <laughs> you should get used to that. It's not going to get any better. It's just not going to work well. Does it work? Yes. This could be better. No. <laughs> it's not going to get better. We're not going to spend time making it get better. Uh, the it never gets better project. Well, I, I don't know, because honestly, let's be real clear, I'm going to get to the same spot on Wix 3X soon, where it just it doesn't get any better. <laughs> It just it is what it is. It works fine. It does not get better. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was I'm pretty sure this error code was added with Windows Vista with uh, Restart Manager. Restart Manager. Makes total sense. Yep. Alright, so we didn't take any of those bugs in Wix three as even things that we would do right now. Uh, so not. our last build is posted. Tuesday, last Tuesday, so not, not this week, last week, um, out early, probably Wednesday. Um, that had to fix for the 4772 bug that we took. Um, and we still look good for Halloween, I assume. John, I'm just curious, I don't remember anybody saying that, yes, they pulled this build and that, all right, so John did pull it and ran it and all that good stuff, so shouldn't be much different than what we shipped the week before that, so I guess we kind of would expect it to behave that way. So I think uh, next week we'll have a meeting on Halloween Eve. Halloween's e Halloween Eve? What is it? Well, it's already All Hallows, Hallows Eve. So all Hallows Eve? All Hallows Penultimate Eve? Penultimate. Oh, no, yeah. that's not right. Yeah. Hmm. Anyway, it'll be the day before Halloween, um, a.k.a. here on October 30th. 30th. Uh, so we'll meet, and assuming nothing comes out, then we'll... Bob and I will do the final regular roll to declare the to declare victory. Cool. Works for me. All right. Oh, wasn't like we we're gonna go trick or treating or anything, right? Oh no, I was going trick or treating. Hmm. I have a police officer and a criminal to go walk around. Somehow my son convinced my wife that it would be great to dress up my baby as a criminal. So, Grandma mm. made stripes outfit and the one of those all small flat hats kind of things. Should be quite adorable. Anyway, um what are you wearing for Halloween? Or other questions that people might have. Things you going made on. that sound really dirty. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> oh dear. Uh so we got started a little late. Anybody got anything else? going on, things to be talk about. Wix 3.10.1 will be it and be a last distraction, hopefully on Wix 3 for quite a while. Uh, yes, I, we finally root caused the search issues on the mailing list and kicked the right machinery to make it all start working. So, search should work on the mailing list again, which is good. Uh, anything else out there? Stuff people want to discuss? think about other things going on man we got all kinds of people typing stuff nope no, nobody is I don't know how much to trust this you know people are typing thing 
it does stop at two or more people are typing. Let me just say, does that mean like three people could be typing at the same time? Why didn't it say three? It stops at two. Hmm. That is actually kind of interesting. Yes. Meeting invites not coming across as iCal invite. Yes, the mailing lists are plain text, and apparently the plain text is destroying the iCal stuff. And oh, no attachments. Yeah, and other things. And it, So we tried to get it right, and we had lots of problems with different configurations being screwy, and I think tracked down to, like, they fixed something in this later version of mailing mailman that we're using now that plugged a hole that prevented the configuration we're using from being able to be enabled with some other configuration that we wanted enabled at the same time or so. it was it was very like mutual exclusive bit setting to get you into no mail coming in at all um <laughs> kind of problems um so yes the um we could futz with it again to try to get it only for Wix devs because we definitely don't want to turn on other stuff, uh, or, uh, other stuff coming through the Wix users because there's a lot more traffic that goes through there and people could sneak trickier things in, but Wix devs gets less traffic and um, we could try to turn on there, but we've had problems where mail got all screwed up and did that. So, is it possible to whitelist so that say you or I could send an attachment? Mm. I don't know that it has. That. I don't. I can't say. I can't say I've tried that. Could, we could look at it. Could look into it. I, I. I didn't think to look for that one, but we could try that. Um, honestly, you're probably better off, given how um, erratic I am at sending the meeting invite early. You're probably better off putting a meeting on your schedule and just letting the one come in to say, yes, we're having it or not. <laughs> My last minute confirmation of, yes, it is happening, and here's the URL. Yeah, I, I always did that back in the Wix night days. Yeah, it's probably the same. Finding the link to the online meeting. Uh, hmm. Oh, that's true. You have to go back to the mailing list and find the link. Hmm. All right, I'll have to think about that, see what we could do. All right, I'll, I'll look at that, see what can be done. Uh, comment on remote payload for me. The MSI is a custom build for our company by another company, so third party. But I found it interesting the heat generates a remote payload. Yeah, really, the only way you use remote payload is if someone has done it for you, including heat as a possible someone else. Right. Because yep. no one's going to go, oh, wait, how do you get the thumbprint? Oh, yeah, I'll go do that. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. Yeah, no. So, I mean, you have to teach Heat to add things that are not allowed on a remote payload, and then you have to add all those things and have them flow through to the binder and have the binder read. I mean, it's it's just a bunch of a bunch of uh, busy work when the whole boatload of columns and stuff like that to sh you know uh, f uh, shuffle all the data through. It's just not much fun. Um, a lot of typing. Um, and that's why we didn't do it up front. It's just like, yeah, we don't really need this. is This is lesser. The chance that you have a third-party MSI is lesser than a uh, third-party XE. So we stopped at remote payloads. But yeah, the, the canonical use case is like .NET Framework. Yeah, like or PC Readist, depending on your poison. Um, on the SQL German issue, not mind doing it, but not on my dev box, so I can build Wix and stuff. Well, Phil, you're welcome to jump in and and do that. We'll help you through your Git issues or whatever else might happen. Um, the Wix build is getting slowly getting a little bit better, I think, with the advent of the new Git packages remove most of the stuff you have to install outside of Visual Studio 2015, uh, unless you want to work on Votive, right? So I think it's pretty easy to build now. Install the ver version of Visual Studio, the latest version of Visual Studio, and then you should be able to build, I think. I think that's true now. Yeah. So, it used to be much more complicated, but pretty much everything's in Visual Studio now. So, mm. people typing, holding things. So, so I'm trying to decide if I'm going to spend next week and come up with a Halloween costume. You know, for all my kids. I'm just filling space, you know. So what do you go with a police officer and a criminal? You know, what does a person, you know, three times the size of those two 
wear um, in that theme. Hmm. If you want to go dark? It could be like you know, the guy who throws throws the elect throws the switch on the electric chair. Uh, it's a little that, dark for kids, that, but okay. Isn't that not just a police officer these days? I don't even know. I have no idea. Yeah. I don't know. Who could not build without VS twenty ten or sand? I don't think that's true anymore. Not not for Sean made the change. I don't remember how long ago. Yeah. To pull Sandcastle from Nougat, and while I'm not a Nougat fan, I'm a huge fan of not having to install Sandcastle. So yeah. it it really does simplify things. Yeah. And and if you don't, have to, now you may not you may not be able to build all of setup, but you know it's fine. You won't have like the setup stuff for Visuals 2010. So anyway, it should be much easier now. We've slowly been improving the build system. And if not, let us know, because... Be One more thing that we could maybe improve. It. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. One last... Yeah, the problem is that on my world, I have everything in the world installed. <laughs> my yeah. box has everything under the sun. It's uh, not a lot of fun. No. But theoretically, you should be able to just install VS 2013 or now 2015 <coughs> and build. Yeah, yeah. Should work. Yeah, 2015 should do it. For the extension, it should be enough. So, all right. So maybe we'll see that for Phil, not too distant future. Um, otherwise, if there's nothing else going on, I think we'll break here. Uh, one more week of kind of letting this 3.10.1 kind of hang out. See if anybody you know finds a bug or something that we're like, oh wow, I'm glad we didn't ship 3.10.1 with that bug in it. Um, although my chances of that are decreasing significantly. Um, and of course, we said the same thing before. Uh, no, didn't we take that? Uh, maybe we, I think when no. we took the first 310 one, we thought about it. Yeah, anyway. We'll see what it's happens. Good. This is the last week, so it's going to have to probably be pretty good for us to do the <laughs> kind of thing. So, anyway, on that note, I think we're ready to roll out of here. Uh, you guys have a wonderful week, and uh, we'll talk to you next Friday. Later. Bye.